Hello, you guys, and welcome to my video. My name is Tracy McCauley, and I am a self-love and empowerment coach. I'm also an author and a motivational speaker, and I am super excited that you have decided to tune in to this video. So the title of this video is Five Steps to Loving Yourself. For so long, I did not love myself. And it took me a lot of years to get to the place where I can truly say that I am proud of the woman that I see in the mirror, embracing every part of the woman that I see in the mirror has been, it's been a challenge for me for several years, but I am super, super excited that I am at the place where, <clears throat> excuse me, where I can truly say that I love me. And so today I want to take a few minutes to talk to you about how I got to that point, but more importantly, what are the steps that I took to get there. So for so long, 21 years to be exact, I was in an abusive relationship. I didn't love myself early on. I had low self-esteem. And as a result, I found myself being attracted to abusive men. I was abandoned and rejected by my father at a young age. My father, he wasn't in my life. And so I was looking for love in all the wrong places. And so I ended up being attracted to men that abused me. Again, I had low self-esteem. I didn't love myself. I had um, problems with the way I looked. I didn't think I was pretty. I didn't think I was attractive. And so I was like looking for love in all the wrong places. And I ended up in two abusive relationships. Uh, my first abusive relationship started when I was 15 years old. I experienced physical and emotional abuse, psychological abuse. And so whenever I made the decision to get out of that abusive relationship, it um, it was it was deadly almost because the abuser, and I didn't know this till he had walked out of the, the house that I was in, that he had a, a gun and I believe he intended to hurt me. So I was able to safely get out of that abusive relationship. It took me several months before the abuser stopped harassing me. I had to get law enforcement involved, but eventually he stopped harassing me. And because I didn't love myself, I didn't understand my worth and my value, I got into another abusive relationship. And I experienced a lot of the same things. I experienced um, the physical, the psychological, and even the financial abuse. I, again, I was searching for love. I was looking for someone to validate me. And I found my validation in men that were abusive. And so whenever I finally realized that I was not happy and that was not the life that I wanted to live. I had a daughter out of my first abusive relationship and I desired more for from my for my daughter. I wanted more. I wanted her to experience a healthy environment. I wanted her to see a healthy, loving relationship because I wanted her to understand that being in a healthy relationship was important. And so I made a decision to um, finally walk away from the abusive relationship. It took me years. It took me 14 years to walk away from the second abusive relationship. But I finally did with the strength of God, with the help of God, at, at, actually after I had gotten into a church and decided that I wanted to really get a more um, intimate relationship or gain a more intimate relationship with God, that's what helped me. It gave me the strength. It helped me understand 
who I was through my relationship with God. And I was finally able to walk away from the second abusive relationship. I was tempted, even after I got out of the second abusive relationship, I was attempted to go back. But again, it was through the strength of God that prevented me, kept me from going back to that abusive relationship. And I was able to walk into a healthy relationship with my now husband. And so it took me some years um, after I was in the healthy relationship. It took me years to get to a place where I understood that I needed to put in work. I needed to do some work on myself because again, I had been in this abusive relationship for a course of 21 years and being in relationships like that, you know, they cause you to have a lot of low self-esteem, you know, it's a traumatic experience that I had. And I was emotionally wounded by the relationships. And I had to get to a place where I was able to work on myself. I was extremely happy, yes, that I was in a healthy relationship with my husband, but I had to put in some work on myself so that I could get to a place where I could truly love myself and be loved, truly loved by my husband, which he loved me, but I had to put in some work so I could love myself. And so that's exactly what I did. So one of the things we're talking about five steps to loving yourself. One of the things that I did, the first thing that I did was acknowledgement. I had to acknowledge that I was wounded. I was emotionally wounded and I needed to work on myself. And how I did that was starting, I started to develop a more intimate like, relationship with God. You know, I talked earlier about, you know, I went to church and that's where I realized I needed to do some work on myself. And so I started reading, you know, my Bible, uh, reading, reading positive things that I knew that would help boost my spirit, help me really understand that I was wonderfully made, fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, I started surrounding myself with positive people, had some people in my church, positive in influences within my church and outside my church. And so I really, really started to, to just um, be more aware more aware of the needs that I had. And that was really what I did. I started to work on myself. And then the other thing, number two, which really goes along with that self-awareness, um, that acknowledgement, I started to understand who I was and whose I was. I started to understand that I was fearfully and wonderfully made, like the Bible tells me. I started to understand that I was a child of God, that I was chosen by God, that I was uniquely created, that there was nothing wrong with me because the other problems that I had, uh, I had the low self-esteem. I mentioned that earlier, but I also, I had problems with my body image. I didn't love myself. I didn't think that I was pretty. I didn't think that I was lovable. And so I had to really understand that I, there was nothing wrong with me, that I was, you know, I was created in the image of God and that every part of me was valuable, that I was valuable. Um, I didn't mention this earlier, but the other issue that I had growing up was that I had a learning disability and I thought that I was stupid. I thought that I was dumb. I thought that I was incapable of learning because I had problems with spelling, I had problems with comprehension and reading. And so all of those things made me feel like I was stupid, I was dumb, and that there was, there was something wrong with me. Well, whenever I started this process of learning how to love myself, one of the things that I had to do, again, was understand who I was and really a lot of that came from me reading 
the word of God and really, really looking in the Bible and seeing what God said about me, that he loved me unconditionally and that he created me in his image. And so I started to really meditate on that and really understood, understand that that I was created to do great things, that I was was not a mistake, and that even though my father had rejected me and abandoned me as a child, um, there was nothing wrong with me and that God, the Heavenly Father, loved me regardless of what anyone else said or had done to me. God loved me unconditionally. And then the third thing that I did in the process of really understanding that I was uh, uniquely created and understanding how to love myself was I started to reprogram my mind. I started to use those statements, those I am statements to retrain, and reprogram my mind because I understood that I had to say positive things out of my mouth. And some of those things were, I am beautiful, I am valuable, I am important, and I am smart, just to name a few. And then the fourth thing that I did was I had to start learning how to set boundaries. I had to understand that my self-care, my I had to put myself first, not selfishly, but had to really understand that Whenever I said no, whether it was my family members or whoever, co-workers or whoever it may have been, that I had to learn how to set boundaries. And all those set boundaries can be, it can be challenging, especially if it's family members. But setting boundaries is so important because it protects you, you. It protects you from being hurt. It protects you from being scratched in, in areas that you really was not beneficial to you. Setting boundaries with everybody within every relationship is important because it helps you uh, protect, it helps protect you and prevents you from doing things that do not serve you. So setting boundaries was the uh, fourth thing. And then the fifth thing that I did was I had to learn how to set goals, set goals for myself setting goals for my future, the things that I wanted to do, the things that I want to achieve so that I can get to where I want it to go. So those are five things that I, steps that I took in the process of learning how to love me, learning how to embrace the woman that I saw in the mirror so that I could be everything that I was created to be so that I could walk in my purpose and and help you know people that um, that that I was meant to serve and so that is the five steps to loving yourself again first step is acknowledging that self-awareness is so important the second step is, really understanding who and whose you are, understanding who created you and what your purpose is. And then the third thing was learning how to reprogram your mind using those I am statements, speaking life into yourself and your situations. And then the fourth thing was learning how to set boundaries, really learning how to say no when you need to say no. And then the fifth thing was learning how to set goals for yourself so that you can move in the forward, forward, uh, forward, I can't talk, um, movement so that you can be everything that you need to be. So five steps to, to loving yourself. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. You go and be great and I will see you the next time. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.